welcome. I'm Jess Kentmans with Guided by Equus with your Horse Wisdom Energy Forecast for the week of April 13th. Just inviting you to take a deep breath and notice where you are finding yourself um, this week and in this moment because whatever is you're connecting to in this moment and the next couple that are part of maybe this this energy forecast is is what's wanting you to um, to be able to take it and um, and let it reveal itself or reveal itself to you I guess is the best words I use I um, I'll share a story that I feel kind of pertains to what I'm trying to relay this message as um, I was my oldest daughter has a horse, um, has her horse Summer, and she's lately been kind of, every time she rides her, even bareback, Summer will use the one hind leg and kind of kick up. And so finally I said, okay, well, let's just, let's address this and let's see what's going on. So not wanting to um, use my hand to put it there in case I got my head kicked off, because that's what I felt like, is that she's really trying to protect herself in this area. So I grabbed a four foot whip and, um, and my daughter thought that I was going to whip her. Um, but I used the whip to just see the general area of her body that was causing um, discomfort. And as soon as I connected to those areas and we held space, my daughter and I together, and just relaxed um, but kept, kept holding space for that area on summer, eventually, instead of protecting it, she actually released and stepped away um, responding to that area of focus and so i bring that to you guys this week and i'm here with fancy and noche because that just finished that session with summer and i came over here um, because that's a way that we can not only connect to uh, an area of disturbance i want to say in our life is by taking a bit of a different approach to it uh, but by focusing on it, because my daughter's been riding Summer and wants to continue riding her, but this was going to have to, you know, no chase yawning behind me, this was going to have to be faced at some point because the relationship was just going to continue to deteriorate to the point that Summer would be forced to um, show us how uncomfortable she was. And so that's what I feel like the energy of this week is, is that there's an area in your life that is really wanting to show you how uncomfortable it is feeling in relationship to you, and yet there is um, an invitation through that as well. Uh, and I would love to actually be able to teach what I discovered today, and it's it's not really anything new, it's what I've been talking about all along, by holding this this space for, um, for its availability to come back into alignment with truth, um, with flow, with connection. And I use that point on my shoulder. I don't know why, but it feels like there's something in there that I need to connect with also. However, um, by using the extension of my arm with the whip, it gave a little bit more space between Summer and I so that I wasn't really on top of her in her environment, in that zone of safety where you need to be able to feel that you can find yourself in that space. And so I believe that having that extension of my arm allowed her to be able to um, more freely connect to where the discomfort was and to be able to shift within it and then find her own way to that connection. And that really only required from me finding that space by watching where, she, where on her body that blink in her eye was associating to that space on her body. And really I was about, I don't know, six or seven feet away from her, but that blink still existed and that blink is associated with the with a disconnect in that energy field, that auric field of hers, which translates to um, a physical discomfort within her body when my daughter was riding her. So I share all of that um, as a way to help maybe bring an understanding to you this week as to if there's something that is um, showing you signs of discomfort in your life, that it's actually needing you to focus on it, to bring your attention to it, but maybe from a different uh, form, maybe with a bit more extension between you and it, so that you give it a little bit of space 
to allow it to do what it needs to um, to come to to come into alignment with what it is and it feels like there's a truth that is part of that that will be revealed for you this week um, to be able to take that revelation or that truth and discover something that you've kind of been missing and I'm kind of laughing at myself because it's like I've had this piece that I've been doing for years and years and years but when I'm too invested in it I don't allow the space to be there to have the potential for something else to happen I'm too invested in wanting that release and so I'm too close to it and sometimes we just have to step back and breathe and relax and notice what wants to happen and so that's where I invite you guys this week so with all of that um, I would love to hear your feedback if that resonates or if you make um, any sort of breakthrough this week with what I'm sharing here um, and one last piece is that I want to do a, um, a shout out a call out for a week from today I have a podcast going live called the Horse Wisdom Channel. And this is um, being able to bring you the stories, the wisdom, the tools, the techniques, the insight, the information, the everything that my horses have um, offered to me through learning, through the experience of, through tapping into, um, to be able to share that in a platform that's accessible to everyone through um, hopefully what will end up being a monthly dive into horse wisdom as related to that month and what's going on in our world to help you um, tap into your own deeper connection to you and your horses and your animals and your life. So uh, stay tuned for that. It goes live next Tuesday, April 22nd. And um, there will be, I'll put a link in this, below this video, in the information in this video, to be able to find um, where to where you can go to 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 play the podcast when it goes live. So with all of that, and that kind of feels like stepping into a new area of or a new field with these guys, um, but it feels exciting on some level, kind of scary on others. Um, but I'm embracing it and where this is taking us. Um, and to be able to give you something so that you can have it um, and hopefully take that to transform your world in whatever way, shape, or form you need to. So much love from myself and the horses, and I look forward to tuning in next week to the Horse Wisdom Energy Forecast. Take care, guys.